What do you do when you are a beginner and you're struggling on sites like Hack the Box? I'm just going to say it. Look at the walkthrough. The walkthrough is there for a reason. And you're going to get some people that tell you, yes, don't look at the walkthrough. Don't lean too much on the walkthrough. Don't you know be so reliant on the walkthrough. And I get that. I do. People are looking out for you. They want you to be able to do this and actually do this in real life without a walkthrough. But in the beginning of your studies and you're learning a new thing, you probably don't know what to do. So when you read these walkthroughs, especially when they're the official walkthroughs from Ipsec, whether you watch one of his videos or OXDF's written walkthroughs on his blog, OXD, OXDF hack stuff, read those because those, those can give you a solid foundation when approaching a box. Um, this is an addition to, I recommend using Hack the Box Academy modules to lay that foundation, but also do these, these retired machines on Hack the Box because they have walkthroughs and you could even stream them. You could do live streams. You know, when I first started using Hack the Box years ago, I would actually live stream myself doing retired machines and people would pop into those live streams and they would see I was stuck on something, they would give me a recommendation. Like, here, try this or try that. And a lot of times what they were telling me worked. Now, you had to be careful about what links you clicked, but ultimately it was helpful to be in that community environment too. Uh, now, I'm not saying you have to live stream to get through a box. I'm just saying um, don't be afraid to use those walkthroughs. They are there for a reason. Um, these they also have what's called um, adventure mode where you can spawn up the machine uh, and you, you go through it without any guidance. You know, of course, you want to test yourself to do that. But and then there's guided mode, which gives you tasks kind of like starting point. But here, here's what I recommend. I mean, as a beginner, use those walkthroughs until and then as you get more comfortable with it, go over and start to try to not look at it at all. So you spawn up a machine or a lab and you just don't look at any walkthrough. You just try to essentially Google or chat GPT your way through it or just go off of memory and then like push yourself to the point where right as you feel like you're about to give up, then look at the walkthrough. You're like, okay, so mercy, I'm giving myself mercy, pull up the walkthrough and at least glimpse at the next step. But at, very, at the very beginning of your studies, I, I think it is a good idea. I'm not saying everyone has to do this. I'm just suggesting look at that walkthrough, understand it. What are they doing? What is Nmap? Do the follow-up research. What is an exploit? What are these tools? What, how do I know something's vulnerable? How, how could I access it? What's the host file? Like All these different things that are going to be mentioned in walkthroughs you look at. But that's, that's curriculum. Think of it as the curriculum for the box. So let me know if you have any questions or you're stuck on a box or, you know, of course you got the Hack the Box Discord and you've got live streams out there like the one I do um, and videos out there. Use them and keep learning.